We begin with a father speaking out after his daughter nearly dies from a suspected fentanyl overdose. Her best friend did not survive. The father is sharing the horrific details surrounding what happened at Bernstein High School and has a warning for other parents. KTLA's Chris Wolf joins us live from Hollywood with more. Chris. Yeah, Pedro MB, parents we spoke with today say they believe that administrators here at Bernstein High School in Hollywood did not take enough action following parental complaints and other student overdoses before this fatal case. This is a devastating situation. It never should have happened. Gregory Wheatley says his 15-year-old daughter, Heather, was the close friend of 15-year-old Melanie Ramos with Melanie when she overdosed on street drugs and died on the floor of a girl's bathroom at Bernstein High School in Hollywood Tuesday evening. Authorities believe the teenagers purchased or obtained what they thought were painkillers, but were apparently laced with fentanyl on campus earlier that day and at some point went into the bathroom, crushed and snorted the pills. Greg Wheatley says he is shocked and saddened, practically at a loss for words, describing the pair as good girls with caring, loving, hardworking parents now devastated by the tragedy. If it, if it happened to my daughter, it can happen to anyone. It can happen to anyone's child. I'm not sure exactly how they ended up on the bathroom floor uh, for all those hours. It had to be about five hours that passed, five to six hours that passed, and um, they were on the floor the whole time. It's unacceptable. Police arrested two teenage boys who attended the independent Apex Academy on the same property as Bernstein High School in connection with the case. One is charged with manslaughter, the other sale of narcotics. This is a nightmare for any parent. This is a nightmare for any school, and this is a nightmare for any community, really. Another Bernstein High School parent says drug dealing students advertise their merchandise on social media. She is disgusted with the atmosphere and climate she says her daughter had encountered. Drug use around her. Um, she has also been offered. Um, the purchase of drugs. As a parent, I could speak for myself and other parents that we are quite worried that this is something that the school was aware of. Now, Chris, we know the girls weren't looking for fentanyl, but unfortunately got their hands on it. Can you tell us more about it? Yeah, Pedro, it is exploding on the black market right now. It's a very powerful opioid that is only supposed to be used in professional medical settings to treat extreme pain, but it's very cheap to make. And drug dealers, drug suppliers, drug manufacturers tend to use it as an additive with other drugs. And the bottom line here is you never know what you're getting. You don't know what you're consuming. And the consequences could be deadly, as we've seen here at this high school.